yo yo what's up Alexis G in the house again today um, I, I'm gonna do some shopping today I'm feeling like South Austin may have something for me anyways I hope so and um, I want to take you guys along for the ride so let's go first stop is my local Goodwill this is the one closest to the house I go here like every day every morning at least regardless of where, where my day ends up so um, I have found some a lot of musical instruments here actually um, I still have a bass I got from there a guild bass that I restored um, I got an auction for $40 I've gotten countless from old Supro amps to uh, vintage camera gear I just recently got a Korg Triton it's, it's always got a lot of stuff you never know what you're gonna find here so I have to stop at this one all the time and uh, we'll see what's going on That was a bust. Um, I'm always keeping an eye out for cool electronics as well and stuff like that and some cast iron skillets and stuff like that but nothing cool today so I think my next stop since it's after 9 o'clock is going to be a pawn shop. Let's go! So we're at this Easy Pawn and some of the greatest hits out of this Easy Pawn were um, I got a early 80's vintage Dean Mini V which is really cool for super cheap and I also got a 50s Gibson single P90 big 170 I don't know uh, 135 maybe and ES 135 or something anyways uh, one of those guitars here really cheap as well and a lot of other cool stuff man you know I got a whammy 2 for 100 bucks and all kinds of stuff anyways let's see what they got man <laughs> It was pretty much a bust. I mean, they did have some cool stuff. They had a silver face uh, basement in there that was cool, 70s, and um, a couple other things here and there, um, but nothing priced right or nothing that I couldn't live without. So let's go on to the next shop. <laughs> Alright, alright, heading to the next pawn shop. Now this is the this, this pawn shop I actually bought a uh, my guide tone Ultron and a couple other cool things from there. They got some boutique pedals in there right now. Uh, last time I went and uh, so we'll see what they got today. What's up? So I ended up uh, besides the Gibson, which was which was really nice. The uh, I guess it was a Hummingbird Pro. Um, it just wasn't really priced all that great for me. So personally, uh, it's a good price, but not for me. But I ended up finding this, which is check out this old beast. It's a um, it's a Ibanez DM1000 digital delay, and uh, hopefully it works. I got 24-hour warranty on it. But all right, well, um, good. We'll check this out when I get home. All right. Off to the next one. All right, we're heading to another pawn shop here. This one's gonna be down south. Uh, uh, this one I have found uh, some cool stuff there. I got a hot pink Jackson style guitar there, Charvel. And I also got uh, my dime, uh, Dean from Hell. My blue, my blue bad boy that I threw a Floyd Rose, an original Floyd Rose on there. All right, let's see what they got. Peace. Alright, well that pawn shop was a bust, they didn't really have anything even worth showing, so on to the next one! 
rolling into this top cash to see what they got. I can say I probably, man, I can't even remember the last time I found something here. Uh, the prices are just a little high and uh, they don't really have a high turnaround in their stuff, so you see a lot of the same stuff. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> no surprise there, um, didn't find anything. So, yeah, but I'm always like optimistic. One day I'm gonna find something that's gonna make up for all the times I came here and didn't find a single thing. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. All right, we're gonna stop at a Goodwill right across the street. So, let's see what's up with that, yo! Mm, records, always my weakness at thrift stores. Well, nothing at Goodwill, so I ended up strolling down the road to a Top Cash pawn shop. Let's see what they got. Well, that, uh, that pawn shop was a bust. On to the next one. Alright, we're at the last stop of the day. I got stuff to do, so I head back to the crib, take care of the puppy and all that jazz. Um, this shop I actually used to work at about 16 years ago, so it's still got the best musical selection in town. So, let's go check it out. shop is filled with a bunch of cool stuff as you can see in the footage but nothing I couldn't live without nothing that was priced at what I needed to pay for it so heading back to the crib check on the puppy let her out get some food I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today maybe I'll do this again soon all right peace well she works she works pretty good no issues sounds pretty cool and retro